go say Nana? We are going to go to Grandma's house. She thinks she's going to Grandma's house. She thinks. Well, Keenan has to go to the dentist and get a root canal, so I have to go because he has to get some type of drugs or something so he can't drive afterwards, so I have to go. And we're going to be leaving Miss, Miss, Miss Riley at somewhere. Yeah, okay, so that is where we are headed. Guys, we just finished and he is trying to pump gas. He is still on those meds. He think he can pump gas. <laughs> you better not give me the wrong type of gas. Look, he looks confused. No, no car. He just, he just chose he wanted a car wash. Oh, something's wrong with this man. He just chose yes to a car wash. Yeah. I knew he chose the wrong gas. He chose premium. Okay, let me go. Good morning, guys. I know it's been a while since I've done a normal embroidery video. Um, Yesterday, we didn't do much. Um, I really just, I didn't work. I went to my husband's root canal appointment. We drove home. I was tired from driving. The drive took two and a half hours. So my body was just exhausted. So I just did nothing. I watched, we just laid in bed and watched uh, the 100. We watched like five, six episodes of that and went to sleep. So it's six o'clock already in the morning. And um, I have my machines all set up to do shirts. I have to hoop all the shirts and get those started. I still never showed you guys the ARB box, which is sitting right there. Um, but I'll probably just show you guys what I got and put those away so I can get rid of that big box that's in the middle of my walkway. And then I got a few other things like uh, the vinyl I use. Um, and there's a few boxes out there. Oh, I just already opened. I got two ton of touches. My Joann's is out of them, so I had to order them off Amazon because I was out completely, which I've never in my life been out completely of ton of touch, but my husband has been helping me, although it's nice to have help. Um, since I'm not the one do using it, I don't know when I was running out. So he never mentioned anything. <laughs> so I didn't have any, so kind of need that. So since I didn't work yesterday, it was no big deal. I ordered it, it got here yesterday, so. Um, there was that, so I need to go ahead and hoop these shirts and get started because I do have a few orders. Nothing is urgent, which it's been a while. It's like I have, finally have a little break since I was able to not work at all yesterday. Like I didn't come even want to come down here yesterday. So there's that. I, I got my backdrop in for my uh, outfits. That came in about a week ago, but I never put it up. Um, I was waiting for my husband to put it up because it is like five by seven. So I have a new backdrop for pictures to put up. My ribbon, surprisingly, might come today. It was supposed to come Thursday. Well, originally today, then the tracking got updated and said it would come on uh, Thursday. But it's not that far from my house now. So I'm hoping, like it's, in the, it's only like an hour away. So I'm hoping it gets delivered today. I'm not sure though. If it does get delivered today, then that video may actually go up before this video um because obviously it's 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 for sale it's good price and it's mine so there's that um so yeah let me get started on working before i forget here's this big old box from arb blanks got a bunch of boys 3t and 4t black t-shirts so all 3T, but I need one now. 4T, I need one now. Oh, and I got, I got 5T as well. I use 
I have drawers uh, for each. The big uh, Tupperware. Look, I was about to say Tupperware drawers. The clear storage tote drawer things. I got them from Walmart. That's what I use. Each drawer has its own size. Um, so, yeah. Some boys. Two T shirts. It just makes it easier to see what I have so that I know when I'm almost out because the drawer will be almost empty. A bunch of six to 12 month onesies. Oh yeah, so for those who don't know where I get them from, arbblanks.com. Um, you don't need to have a business license they sell to anybody, individuals, and prices are pretty good and it's great quality blanks. 12 to 18 month onesies. Um, size eight shirts. Oh, I'm missing onesies. Size eight. Maybe. I get a lot of questions on uh, my Mighty Hoop size. Mighty Hoop is an 8x9. I use it for t-shirts, 2T and up. Anything smaller, I will use uh, the 5x7 hoop. It's not a Mighty Hoop, it's the normal hoop. So that is what I use. It is 9.30 and I already have about 10 or 11 shirts done. There's all three machines are going right now. They won't be going forever because man, my dog just scared the mess out of me. She lay, laid out, but she's asleep. I feel it looked like she did, <laughs> but she's just sleeping. She's snoring. Um, whew, I already got a bunch of shirts done. I need to eat breakfast. I always eat cereal for breakfast, but I want I want something healthier. So healthier meaning I kind of want like a sausage, egg, cheese sandwich, I guess. Never tried making one, honestly, to be completely honest. So I'm going to try. I don't know how it's going to go, but I will try to make one. And hopefully it's good. Got my eggs and cheese and sausage. Sausage, cheese, and the eggs at the bottom, but hopefully it tastes good. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. I just finished eating that sandwich. It was so good. Oh my gosh. Like the whole thing, it was delicious. Save me uh, $4 or $3 from so going to get one. I'm drinking my water. I had orange juice with it. Um, A little update. My ribbon is supposed to be here. Well, Technically, the 20th was when it was supposed to be delivered, but it was only an hour away yesterday, so I thought it would be delivered today, like 
Everything else I ordered, but no, it hasn't updated at all today. So I don't think I'm gonna get it today. a lot later it is 3 30 um i'm actually exhausted right now like super exhausted i just finished sewing six ribbon trims so i have to add bows on all of them um so i'm gonna be showing you guys that um i did 16 shirts today none of them are ton of touched um today kind of took a turn not like horrible but my husband went into work really early today um, he got there about six o'clock and he was supposed to leave about one o'clock and he called me at about 1130 saying he has to stay until six because none of his employees can come um, for their shift um, later. He has to have two and only one can, sh one can show. So he has to stay. Obviously, when you're the boss, you got to stay. So um, he has to stay until about six o'clock. So he won't be home probably until seven. So it kind of like threw a wrench in my plans um, because he was gonna tender touch all my shirts for me and help me package and we had to put up the backdrop, but that was if he was gonna be home at two o'clock, but now that he's not gonna be home until seven, it's like, there's, I'm not gonna make him work cause he's already having a bad day at work. So um, I'm gonna try. I don't know if I could tender touch today. Like I'm, I'm legitimately exhausted cause I couldn't fall asleep until midnight. Woke up at five o'clock started working at six and it's already 3.30 and I'm not done. I still have to put the bows on these tutus. I'll probably hot glue them later. Um, I don't know, I need a break and I'm hungry. So I've had a bunch of water since I've been down here, but last thing I ate was that sandwich. So I do need to eat. Here are the tutus I got done. So it's six of them. So they're all sewn, just need to add the bows. So what I use to make the bows is this, uh, alligator clip um it helps keep the bows in place pam used this and i ended up buying it um i think it has the website look at me baby.com that sounds odd i think it was like alligator clip.com something like that if i find it up I'll, I'll write it here um but it did take almost a month to get to me a month but uh this is like necessary Otherwise, I was doing them by hand. This is a lot faster. So, I need this. I need thread based on the bow color. Lighter. Scissors. And needles. This is a mess. Needles. Um, I use these from Joann's. It's like a, I think they're like a dollar or two. I'm not sure but sharps, um, the smaller I realized the better. I was using big ones at first and it hurt my fingers. The small ones are sharper. So use those and then you obviously need the ribbon. So ribbon, I say about 18 inches maybe, uh, maybe a little more. And that's all you need. So I'm gonna start with the black and white polka dot one. I literally just eyeball my cuts. I made a lot of these, so I used to measure them, but it saves time. So pretty much just fold it. It's gonna be hard to show you guys, but ooh, I fold it over in half and then I try to like line up the bottom, the bottom somewhat. You can cut it afterwards, it's not that serious. Then you hold it in the middle you bring the loop and it will look like that's the back. This is the, mm, I'm gonna break my finger trying to do this. That's the front, it's just crossed over. And then you use the clip and it helps with centering the bows. So what the clip does, just holds it in place. Oh yeah, one more thing is, I think this is called crochet thread, string, it's yarn, I don't know. Um, it's a little, it's thicker than normal uh, thread. So I get a piece of that, cut it, and I put it in the, the back. Flip it over, bring it around, and through. 
And this part I'm gonna put on the table because this is you just tie a knot. So you just tie, I'm gonna put on the table. But you tie, pull tight, and then you just tie again. Like just like a, a knot. thing off so it's not even just have to uh, move it over to make it even so it looks like then I just cut it and I told you I'm tired I also forgot that you need uh, this three eighths inch ribbon i this is satin it could be gross grain it doesn't really matter i use both um this is for the center of the bow you just go around it so it's for the center you can see all the ends and let me see this is not as even as i need it to be Okay, and then I will see the ends. This one, and then I will get the needle. The black thread. Black thread. And a piece of black thread. Put almost like on the length. Thread the needle. Okay. And I will double knot the bottom. And it's knotted. Then I get this started on the back right over and wrap it around till it meets back up so it looks like and then get the needle and I poke it through the front and go straight to the back pull it through then go right back through the back to the front I do this twice straight back through the back so it makes like it's not really gonna be an X but I just like to make sure it's secure so the back looks like and then I have to go right back to the front so that when I put it on the bow I mean on the tutu it'll be in the back so here's the tutu this is the channel piece I use. This is like where you overlap the waistbands. And you move it down. I just poke it through. And try to line it up a little bit. Just poke it through. And just go right back through the, through the waistband and through the bow. back through and then I'll go on the other side so by other side I mean one side I'll come here the other side I'll come here so I try to alternate do the other side and back through And when I'm done, I will go through the waistband. It's not going through the bow. It's just through the waistband. And I don't pull it all the way through. Usually I put my finger here to stop it, but I pull it through. This is tangled. And then there's like a loop. It's hard to show you guys. Ooh, how do I do this? 
there's a loop here and I will be putting the thread through that loop. And I'll do that twice. And then I cut it and I double knot it just for extra safety. Oh gosh, I hate when it's, I'm only, I'm untwisting it because the, th the thread got tangled. So that's all I was doing. But now I double knot it. Sometimes I triple knot it, depending on how I feel. This one I'm triple knotting, but it's up to you. And then I cut. You don't want to cut too close. I do leave like a little piece. You can't even see. Like a little, it's hard to see because there's some stuff in the background. A little piece. If you cut too close, it could all come apart. So I learned that the hard way. And you cut the excess in the front. So it's one done and I have five more to do.